Hi friends! Today I am going to review the book, Event Planning and Management, a Practical Handbook for PR and Events Professionals, by Ruth Dowson and David Bassett. Event Organization An event, as opposed to a regular occurrence, is planned, memorable, and temporary. It fulfills a purpose. Classify your event based on its frequency, location, size, and industry. Researcher Donald Goetz outlined a typology of events in his 2007 book Event Studies. He lists eight event categories, cultural celebrations, business and trade, arts and entertainment, educational and scientific, political and state, private events, recreational, and sport competitions. Determine if your event focuses on your company's staff as an internal activity or builds relationships with external groups. Event planners often reach out to tourist attractions, sport activities, and hotels. Such participants can be an inviting component of your event. An event is a planned gathering of a temporary nature, which is often a memorable or special occasion for the attendees. During development, list the event's priorities and objectives with your client. The event concept requires client input, summarized in the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. Hold budget conversations in the planning stage. Event managers produce the best results when their client values their expertise during the organizational process. Show your client summaries and templates that demonstrate your specialized knowledge. Understand the emotional experience your client hopes to create. Use the five E's, educate, enlighten, engage, energize, and entertain, to choose and prioritize an event's activities in light of its overall goal. Compile this information for your event proposal. Without a full appreciation of the potential costs of an event, organizers risk not only the failure of the event, but also of the company, whether in terms of finances or reputation. The middle phase of planning an event demands an overwhelming amount of organization. Confirm the location, event team, suppliers, promotion, and finances. The wrap-up stage includes breaking down the requirements for each component of larger events, evaluating the event and listing future recommendations. Many planners avoid this time-consuming step, but surveying attendees and debriefing the client, suppliers and organizers provides information for the future. Choosing and planning locations. An event's location has a major impact on the image the client wishes to portray. Travel and accessibility affect attendance. Visit the site. If you can't inspect the site, Call on a destination management organization, DMO, a company that helps event planners identify venues. The planner and client compile a detailed site requirement list for the DMO. After you select a site, some DMO agencies provide additional site-related services. The nature of the event's activities and the expectations of those who attend affect the size of the site you need and the facilities and equipment you require. For instance, lacking enough restrooms can ruin an event. The event program is likely to include a combination of both formal and informal activities. Request a site map and plan the internal locations, including the guest help desk and medical desk, VIP stations, placement of tech equipment and accessibility flow. Create a plan showing the site logistics, including a map of locations for your activities. Locate your event organizer office, near the entrance to simplify check-in for staff and suppliers. Ensuring everyone's safety is critical. Conduct a risk assessment that considers the number of people on hand, electrical equipment, weather, and short-term construction debris and fire hazards. Hiring enough security and medical personnel minimizes potential catastrophes. The event program. Align the activities at the event with your client's objectives. Make sure the content suits the client's company culture. Program managers must decide if the event requires original content and design or if it can incorporate pre-designed elements, such as items the hotel's corporate hospitality office might provide. The elements of your event's program might include a product launch, a charity fundraiser, community gatherings, meals, seminars, and conferences. Exhibitions can be single events or roadshows, requiring organization across multiple sites. Outsourcing may not simplify the process. Maintaining the chain of command, incorporating client requests, 
finding suppliers whom the outsourced location accepts and managing hidden costs often turn out to be time-consuming. Handling them poorly creates even more difficulties. Despite the challenges, a customized event provides your client with a unique, valuable experience and generates demand for your talents. Life of the party. Parties enable clients to entertain their customers, but be mindful of your budget. Including celebrities, speakers or VIPs who need extra security can generate costs that must add value in order to be worthwhile. Event performers generate additional details to manage, like their transportation needs, security, and tech setup. They are, stars, and you must manage them as such. Communicate your expectations to guest speakers so their talks are appropriate for your audience. People want to hear speakers discuss experiences that align with the event's topic. They like, war stories, about things that went wrong and the lessons learned. If you don't manage the cash flow, you could be out of business, no matter how popular the event. Food and beverage are two major factors in guest satisfaction. As you prepare to accommodate dietary restrictions based on individual choice, medical or religious reasons, make sure the food delivery method allows guests to enjoy their meals. Collaborative event planning. Larger events are more complex. Event teams are rarely made up of full-time employees from one firm. Managers must account for the interactions of strangers working together. An event with multiple segments across several days or venues demands a service delivery plan. Have one team member travel to the next event segment's location to communicate changes and check on readiness. Events that span only a few hours still have multiple segments, including introductory speakers, a food break, a midpoint performer and a new tech set up for the final act, all of which require collaboration and clear communication. Because events use so many resources, whether financial, people or other physical resources, being able to measure their effective use and make improvements is important. A small team can develop an event, but you'll need a larger team on site. Always have someone available at a base office to handle emerging problems. The operational events team includes the core group and support service personnel. Write a description for each role, tailored to the event. Develop appropriate recruitment and training procedures. Event planners often turn to the same suppliers to simplify the chaos of temporary staffing. To minimize difficulties, use team building exercises and personality assessments to help members recognize each person's communication style and personality orientation. Promoting your event. Identifying the message and audience for your event are crucial components of your promotional campaign. Demographics that affect a potential audience member's motivation for attending your event include gender, age, professional position, financial and marital status, relationship and family status, education, home location and language. Your promotional message must reach a relevant general audience, but target your specific core crowd with advertising, enticing promotions from sponsors, mailings to previous attendees and personal outreach. Carrying out a risk assessment will enable an event manager to put measures in place to minimize the risks to public safety. Social media advertising is a part of any event. The best feature of social media is that it gives you the ability to build an audience and encourage engagement in a cost-effective way. The content you share will influence which platforms your campaign should use. Social media is particularly effective for spreading the word about new events without an established audience. The new concept of curating an event is beginning to emerge through the museum sector. If you work with a limited advertising budget, social media provide a basic foundation. Using social media outlets effectively requires knowing the latest platforms and being familiar with those your target audience prefers. Competitors' use of social media can give you an indication of which sources and approaches garner audience interest. Learn the frequency, style and timeline of their posts to gauge your own. You content will vary by event, but it must be attention-getting. Launching your event. Your promotional plan should focus and guide the activities of your event's PR team. Follow five steps to execute a successful rollout. Identify goals. Tie your promotional goals to event objectives. Typical goals include drawing attention, increasing demand and sales, building client image, establishing a profile and competitive differentiation. Determine the budget. Clients usually set a budget by picking an affordable number. 
determining the percentage of sales allocated for promotion, comparing costs for similar events, or listing desired outcomes and budgeting to meet them. The last approach depends on identifying the work required to achieve the wished-for results and estimating the cost of each element. Choose PR elements. Every publicity tool has pros and cons. Prioritize them with the four C's of cost, clout, credibility, and control. Cost is not merely outlay of funds, it's the expense evaluated in terms of how far your message can reach. Clout is a prism for discussing the reach of a PR tool and your options for personalizing it. Credibility depends on the audience's relationship to the tool and the content it delivers. Control looks at how the tool focuses its message to capture the target demographic. The elements of your PR campaign can work together or separately to achieve exposure. Keep the message and look of your brand consistent across platforms. Design PR Timeline How you schedule your outreach calendar can drastically affect the success of the campaign. Communicating messages too early means they get lost. Wait too long, and no one will be able to attend. Coordinating the content and the message depends on the different submission requirements of various media platforms. If your campaign includes print advertising, social media posts and direct mail, the first deadline likely for print ads determines the timeline for confirming the message. Evaluate. A final evaluation of the campaign provides clear information on the most effective promotional elements. Financial considerations. Companies must determine the cost efficiency of having an in-house event team versus hiring event planners. Either way, the client must approve the budget before work begins, so accurate estimations minimize later complaints. Budgets for individual events often need a comments column to help explain the planner's choices and modifications. Outsourcing suppliers and audiovisual specialists is common practice and requires receiving proposals that include their services and costs to determine which suppliers offer the best package for your client. The cheapest option may look good on a budget sheet but it may not meet your expectations. Staging an event with collaborating organizations requires tracking individual budget constraints, which complicates managing the finances. Use templates and spreadsheets to simplify the budget process. Developing a collaborative approach in which team members appreciate those who add value in different ways is more likely to lead to a successful event. Some industries have strict rules about expenditures. Evaluation. Always undertake a post-mortem to determine if the event achieved its proposed outcomes and to highlight outcomes that aren't specific or measurable. Assess every step of the process, from planning through to wrap-up. Ask attendees and participants to describe what worked well, what did not and what issues arose. Your evaluation form can be online or paper, anonymous or named, and based on yes, no questions, a number scale or free text. It can include responders' demographics or not and have mandatory responses or not. A template with a 1 to 10 scale makes responding easier and provides data you can compare across events. Takeaways. Organization, the first phase of event planning, is crucial to success. The location sets the tone of the event and emphasizes the client's image. Accurately mapping the location ensures safety and access throughout the event. The event program must match the client's objectives. Communicate crucial elements of the event's message to speakers and performers so they can deliver appropriate presentations. Use social media for promotion. Create a plan and timeline to ensure that the target audience receives the intended message. An inadequate number of public restrooms can ruin an event. Some industries have strict rules about event expenditures and may have ethical or other restrictions. Conduct a final event evaluation to establish a basis for future recommendations. If you enjoy our content and would like to stay updated with our latest videos, please like, share and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching.